so I'm cobbling. Um, anyone that's working on site doing cobbling on houses or anything else or not, how much of um, a nightmare they are. So it's just a few little tips that I use that I'm uh, just going to show you in this next video. So I'll we'll crack on. Alright, so when you're doing these, you're going to be using a quite heavy sort of an engineering brick. So what I use when I'm doing it, is these wheat vents here. It's going to probably pretend that this is the top of the, the window. If your window's at the um, soffit level, then you're probably going to start a course below the lintel height sort of thing. And then you'll come up then, because we need to be coming out a full brick from the edge of the building to cover the um the with the fascias so we'll start with our first brick now get your bed down Use that as your bed at the front and then we'll level it going backwards. So you want to be about 55 mil out. So I'll level that up. So I'll level that. Gonna level it off, level it off, your, off your, your 10 mil because they're 10 mil wide to get your bed right. So, on the ones that I'm doing now, they come out 10 mil this way. So, it's a 10 mil overhang here, which is there. And then that, you want 55 mil. So we'll come out about 220 altogether. Just make sure that that's in. So that's going to stop your, your brick from tipping forward when we get further out. Again with this bit. two bricks wide but so you'll have another one at the side of it here Just trim the back off so it's not going in cavity put that by the side there but I haven't got enough bricks to do that so I'm just going to show you on the one side so get your brick on the back of that now so this is going to be your gable this so your gable on that way sticking out 10 mil the rest is round plum
take too much notice about this back here because that's going to be a full wall that. that's just for the purposes of the video i just want to get this in for you so once you get to that point now get two tie wires and just lay them on the back there Get the next one in now. So just put, put it roughly, roughly on where you want it. It's about right there. Keep it in line with that at the bottom.
don't need to worry about them because that's going to run right through. Two tail wires, same again, put them on the end. They start coming out again then.
perfect brick. These are 80 mil, these brick, they're massive. Heavy block. these tires on as well the whole thing could just fall down anyway so you've got to put something in you know I've known it on site where people have missed these out and the joiner gets to put the roof on and they stand on them and the whole thing just falls off so it's important that you put them in it's like I say it's helping you to hold it in place anyway so it does help to put them in Same again now. Pump end again. As soon as you start coming over now, this automatically wants to fall down. I mean, it helps a lot with these bricks because they are quite dry, but on site, when you're doing these in an engineering brick, they're quite heavy. The, uh, it's not as easy. the ones that I'm doing so this would take you to the top of the window and then you build another free course on this end that'll take you to the top of the fascia board and your fascia board will sit sit there in front of that so it's a nice neat edge and it looks good when you're on side you can do the cuts a lot neater but these are all I've got so I can't keep cutting them that's that got another done do is I'll leave that to go off a little bit at the front. Leave it to go off a bit and then you can pull these out. In the same day you want to pull them out, you don't want to leave them in overnight because they'll just get stuck in and they will get them out. Just get them out like that. And you can go underneath them and do them on. You'll see these cobbles on and off. They're all tipping like this. Oh shit. So, I'm not going to do that.
Vamos. for watching um hopefully do something else soon cheers bye